Hello everyone. A very very important topic today that of pipes and systems. A very very important and a very very common topic in all numerical ability and numerical aptitude tests. For understanding this concept you need to remember two points that if a pipe is connected to a system and it is filling the system in x hours then the volume filled in 1 hour will be 1 upon x. Say if a pipe fills a cistern in 7 hours then 1 seventh of the cistern will be filled in 1 hour. That is the first thing we have to take the reciprocal of the total time to get the work done in 1 hour. Then if there is a comparison between some pipes say we have two pipes now and pipe A is taking x hours and we have compared pipe B with pipe A and the relationship is that B is twice as fast as A. So if it is faster then it consumes lesser time. So you need to remember that if pipe A is taking x hours then time taken by B will be x upon 2 that is half of A because it is twice as fast as A. Remember it is not 2x it is x upon 2. So now if you have understood these two concepts we can solve some common problems of systems. I have listed down three problems here which we will be discussing in this video. The first problem is that of three pipes which are fitted to a system like this. So this is the first pipe, this is the second pipe and we have one pipe which is emptying the system. So all are fitted with uh, uh, arrangements through which you can actually stop the flow or uh, start the flow. So this is pipe A which is the inlet pipe, pipe B which is the inlet pipe and pipe C which is the outlet pipe. So two pipes can fill it and one can empty it. Now see we are given the times pipe A can fill the system in 4 hours that is alone. Pipe B alone can fill it in 5 hours and if we open pipe C and the tank is full then it can empty the tank in 10 hours. Now we have to find the time to fill the tank if all the three pipes are opened together. Again a very very common question in competitive exams. So you need to understand that we have to use the concept of volume filled in 1 hour. So see two pipes are filling it and one is emptying it. So whenever you have to write the solution for this, you have to first find the 1 hour work. That is the volume filled in the tank in 1 hour. So part filled in 1 hour, I will write all the steps to make you understand the concept. Part filled in 1 hour. Now see 4 hours, so 1 by 4 because I am taking the concept of 1 hour plus another pipe is helping pipe A that is pipe B is helping pipe A so we have to add the work 1 hour work of pipe B is 1 by 5 because it is filling in 5 hours and one of them is emptying the tank so when it is the question of emptying the temp tank then you have to subtract and it is emptying the tank in 10 hours so 1 tenth of the tank will be emptied in 1 hour so add the ones which are filling the tank and subtract the one which is emptying the tank. Now if you solve this orally you can get it C5 plus 4 9 upon 5 4 the 20 minus 1 upon 10. So this will come out to be say we can make this also as 20 so 2 upon 20. So 9 minus 2 is 7 upon 20. So your answer is 7 upon 20 this is the part filled in 1 hour. So, so tank will be filled in tank filled in just take the reciprocal of this because we need to find the total time so 20 upon 7 hours that is if, if you can convert it into fraction normally the question uh, multiple choice questions give you the answer in mixed fractions so 2 6 upon 7 hours is the total time taken by the 3 pipes to fill the tank. Now this is one type of question. Now come to another type of question wherein there is a pipe 
which fills the cistern in 5 hours and there is a leak in the cistern. Now due to the leak in the cistern, obviously the time taken by the pipe to fill the tank will be more. So due to the leak, it fills it in 6 hours. If there would have been no leak, then 5 hours and with the leak it is 6 hours. Now I want to find if the tank is totally full, how much time will the leak take to empty the tank. Now in this case, the solution will be very very simple here because you need to find out how much volume is emptied in one hour. If you know this concept that how much volume is emptied from the tank in one hour then the things will become very very simple. Now see adding filling is done in 5 hours so one fifth of the tank is filled. Now remove we know that with the leak it takes 6 hours so one sixth of the tank. Now 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 will give you 6 minus 5 upon 30 that is 1 by 30. So this is the volume emptied or the work done by the leak in 1 hour that is 1 upon 30. So just take the reciprocal. So leak empties the tank in just take the reciprocal 30 hours. Now this is the second type of problem that involves the, uh, the leak in the system. Now come to another type of problem wherein we have three pipes which together can fill a system in eight hours and now we are given the comparative timings, the individual timings. Say C pipe is compared to B. We have been given that C is thrice as fast as B. Now B is twice as fast as A. So comparison between the three pipes is given. How much time A alone takes to fill the system? Now we will suppose this, right? Let A alone takes X hours. If it takes X hours, then you need to find out B alone and C alone. If you can calculate these three, then the problem will be very easy. A takes X hours. So obviously it's one hour work is one by X. Now see the comparison between B and A. B is twice as fast as A. I told you here, B is twice as fast as A. So time taken by B is half of A. So X upon 2. So this is X upon 2. Now comparison between C and B. C is thrice as fast as B. That means 3 times. So it will take 1 third time of B. And 1 third of B if you take one third of x by 2, it will become x upon 6 hours. Now see you have all the three individual times and we had assumed only time taken by the pipe A. Now if we have all these three, we can have the one hour works of all the three. x upon 2 becomes 2 upon x and x upon 6 becomes x upon x. Now the time taken by all three together is 8 hours. So whatever total time is given here you need to just take the reciprocal of that. Now add the three. One hour works say 1 by x, 2 by x and 6 by x. So the total time taken is 8 hours. So in the right hand side you have 1 by 8. Obviously that this has to be converted into 1 hour work also because we are adding the 1 hour works of the 3 pipes. Now you can solve this very easily. This is 9 upon x equal to 1 upon 8. So x gives you 72 
hours which is the required answer of the time taken by the pipe A to fill the tank which we assumed here. So these are some questions, basic questions of pipes and systems and if you understand this concept only then you can solve higher problems, more complex problems of pipes and systems. So solve these, practice these, master these and after you have mastered these we can come up with one more video having containing some more problems which are little bit uh, difficulty level will be more in those problems. So keep learning and keep enjoying. Share and subscribe the channel if you like it.